Hello and welcome to Skittles Saturday Suggestions. My name is Sarah Tillinghast. I'm a Platinum Certified Whole Brain Teaching Instructor and today I'm answering a question from one of our educators about how to utilize scoreboard in creative ways. So one thing I really like to do is use scoreboard during whole group instruction. It really helps keep the students accountable. So really quick, just in case um, you're watching this video and you have not um, had any experience with scoreboard, first of all, check out wholebrainteaching.com. Has everything you need to play the game, but just a quick synopsis. Um, when you're playing the game, um, you give turtle points for when um, students are um, turtle slow or they're showing the wrong way um, to do a direction. And when you give that point, they do a mighty groan. Hmm. Um, some teachers do wah. I don't prefer that sound, so I do a groan. Hmm. Uh, when you see students that are doing um, awesome, the alpha hawk way or the right way of doing things, then you would give a point on this side and they would do a one second celebration. Oh yeah. And, or sometimes people I think say 10 seconds, but it's pretty quick, the celebration. Anyway, so how I would use this is making sure that, um, uh, sorry about that, making sure that um, I'm ping-ponging, staying within three. So let's, um, right now in math, we're talking about addition. So let's say I had all my students at the carpet and they're supposed to be writing the addition sentence that matches the picture on the board. And I have, we'll call him Joshua because that's my brother's name. Um, I have Joshua at the carpet who is doing an excellent job. He's writing really well. And then I have Sarah. Hmm, Sarah is not doing a great job. She's drawing a picture of a unicorn. She's not even writing numbers. Um, and so, um, how I address that, I don't want to scold, okay? So this is what I do. Um, first of all, I always do individual praise for Alpha Hawk points. So, boys and girls, I love how Joshua is writing his addition sentence, remembering that plus sign and the equal sign of his addition sentence. Boys and girls, give me money. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. However, boys and girls, I have some students that are not writing their addition sentence. They're drawing pictures on their board. Give me money, groan. Hmm. Now, if at that point, remember, I don't, I don't scold and I don't call out the student who's doing the wrong behavior. I don't even, I try even not to make eye contact with that student so that when I'm saying um, the generic thing, students hopefully don't even know who I'm talking about. But if it so happens that Sarah does correct her behavior after that turtle point... I may end up giving you another alpha hawk point. It may look like this. I'll be like, wow, boys and girls, I love how Sarah is making a smart choice. She is working on her addition sentence on her board. She's keeping her eyes on the target. Give me my new, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I always explain the points that I'm giving, okay? And I always try to give at least one alpha hawk point um, for every turtle point. Um, I've had um, times where I've um, done scoreboard for lining up. Um, so for procedures, for packing up, for getting out stations, um, whatever I'm doing though, I always make sure I explain why I'm giving the point the way it goes. It's really quick. If you're struggling uh, to remember to even play scoreboard, um, one suggestion is just to set a timer for five minutes a day. Start the timer and say, boys and girls, for the next five minutes, we're going to play scoreboard and go from there. So scoreboard's great. It's fun. Kids love it. And yeah. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day. Bye.